is assistant professor of Arab politics at Georgetown University. As we go back right now to Egypt, joining us on the phone is one of Egypt's most renowned human rights activists, Nawal al-Sadawi. A well-known feminist, psychologist, writer, former political prisoner in Egypt, she lived in exile for years due to numerous death threats. Nawal al-Sadawi joins us on the line from Cairo. Welcome to Democracy Now! Uh, your feelings today, uh, in the midst of this popular rebellion against the Mubarak regime, calling on Mubarak to leave, do you agree? We are in the streets every day. People, children, all people, including myself, I am now 80 years of age, suffering of this regime for half a century. And uh, you remember, uh, Mubarak is the continuation of Sadat. And both uh, Sadat and Mubarak, you know, uh, they, their regime worked against the people, men and women, and they created this gap between the poor and the rich. They brought um, the, the so-called business class to govern us. They, uh, Egypt became uh, an American colony, and we are dominated by the U.S. and Israel. And uh, 80 million people, men and women, have no say in the country. And you see today that people in the streets for six days, and they told Mubarak to go. He should have gone if he respect uh, the, the will of the people. That's democracy. Because what's democracy is, is to respect the will of the people. The people govern themselves. So he uh, really, um, we are happy, but what I would, I would like to tell you, the U.S. government with Israel and Saudi Arabia some, and some other powers outside the country and inside the country, they want to abort this revolution. And they, they are creating rumors that, you know, uh, there is um, Egypt is going to be ruined, to be robbed, uh, and they are also preventing. Uh, we don't have uh, bread now, and the shops are using this to raise the prices. So they are trying to frighten us. Number, they have two strategies to frighten the people. So we say, oh, we need security, we need Mubarak, because people are living in fear. But when I go to the streets, there are no fear, you know. But when I stand at home and listen to the media, I, I, I think, what's going to happen? But when I go to the streets, to Midan Tahri, and see the people, the young people, the old people, the men, I feel secure. And I believe this, that, that the revolution succeeded. So they are trying to abort it, the power, outside and inside. But we will win. <laughs> And Nawal Sadawi, um, you often hear in the United States, is this going to be like the Iranian Revolution? Uh, not talking about throwing out the dictator so much, um, but uh, a fundamentalist revolution. Your response? Nawal. They are frightening us by the Ikhwan Muslimin, and that if Mubarak. They they tried for years to tell us that who protects us from the fundamentalists like Khomeini and Iran. It's Mubarak, you know, and this is, uh, this is not true. Uh, the, the, this revolution, the, pe the young people who started the revolution and who are continuing to protect it, they are not political, ordinary young men and women. They don't belong to the right or the left or Muslim, there was not a single Islamic religious slogan in the streets, not one. They were shouting for justice, equality, freedom, and that Mubarak and his regime should go, and we need to change the system and bring people who are honest. Egypt is living corruption, false elections, oppression of women of young people, unemployment. Uh, so the revolution came. It was too late. This revolution is too late. But anyway, it came. Mm.
So, uh, Nawal um, al-Sadawi, you have been uh, ha arrested how many times under previous uh, regimes? So that, so that put me in prison only, but I came out from prison with bars to a prison with no bars. I, I am living in, in Cairo in exile. I am censored. I cannot write in El Ahram or the big media. I write only one article every Tuesday in, a, in El Masri Loom. And, and we uh, only have 30 seconds, but I wanted to ask you about the role of women in this rebellion, women and girls. Women and girls are beside boys in the streets. They are, and we are calling for justice, freedom, and equality, and real democracy, and a, a new constitution, no discrimination between men and women, no discrimination between Muslims and Christians, to, to change the system, to change the people who are governing us, the system and the people, and to have real... Uh, real democracy, that, that what uh, women are saying and what men are saying. Noel all... Sadawi, I want to thank you for being with us. Well-known feminist psychologist, she ran for president in Egypt, speaking to us from Cairo. As we continue tomorrow and with Sharif's tweets at democracynow.org uh, here at Democracy Now. I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks so much for joining us.